a big blow to the corruption fight. That's the assertion of civil society groups and anti-corruption watchers as a petition seeking the removal of Special Prosecutor Kisie Jabeng. The petition by the immediate pass holder of the same office, Martin Amidu, has already been forwarded to the Chief Justice for a determination of whether or not a prima facie case can be determined. Martin Amidu is demanding the removal of Kisie Jabeng on grounds the current SP has violated citizens' rights to information, violated citizens' rights through arrest and detentions, abuse judges and the administration of justice, engage in procurement breaches and engaged in appointment breaches. For private legal practitioner Martin Pebu, the development is a blow to the country's anti-corruption fight. We would have thought that at this time, President Ufuado would have been thinking about how to better resource the special prosecutor because he's not yet done so. He's not given the establishment budget. Yet, you can see that President Ufuado is rather more interested in the process to remove to see Japan. A position shared by Inusa Fushaini who argues the OSP has not failed in the discharge of his duties. The special prosecutor has run into a lot of roadblocks and has at times been frustrated by institutions of state which appear not to be co uh, cooperating with, with him. And so I try to, to balance uh, the need to rein in corruption with the fact that the office is a new creation. Mm. It needs to cut its teeth. The Chief Justice. Justice Getru Tokonu has already commenced work into the petition, requesting a formal response from Mr. Jabin to determine if there is a case for him to answer. Justice Tokonu has within 30 days upon the receipt of the petition to arrive at a determination if there is a case for the OSP to answer to. Should there be a prima facie case, the Chief Justice must within 15 days set up a five-member committee to probe the issue with that committee to be chaired by a justice of the supreme court also expected to work within a 90-day period at investigating the charges their recommendations however shall be adhered to by the president to the letter as captured by the osp's act all eyes rest on the special prosecutor's response who has said he will leave when his task is due we are not suggesting that the OSP does not make mistakes. We are not suggesting that we are infallible and that every case brought by the OSP or against the OSP should end in a favorable outcome to the OSP, no matter how improbable the evidence. That is not what we are saying. However, it seems to us that this flagship public agency created by law to fight corruption should receive better regard and consideration by the courts. For now, time best will tell where this tale ends.